The Australians have made it to the MCG after a very successful trip over to the West, but there are a few questions that need to be answered before the Boxing Day test can get underway. Firstly, Ricky Ponting, he's injured his finger. Will he or won't he play? Usman Khawaja has joined the squad just in case. And also Michael Beer, will he finally make his debut for Australia, replacing one of the quicks? And if he does, which one of the quicks will he replace? I guess conditions will play the biggest part there. They'll wait and see what the wicket's like tomorrow, I would imagine. And then the selectors and Ricky will, will work out what they think the best 11 players is for this test match. Mate, he's obviously a quality spinner and, and, and the little time I have seen him, he's, he likes the contest and he's a very competitive bowler. So he, he's, he's, gonna fit, he's fitted into our group very well. Um, and, and we're looking forward if he gets his opportunity for another Australian to make the debut at test cricket. So he, he'll do Australia proud and himself proud. Ricky definitely won't field in slips. He'll probably field it mid-off or mid-on. So yeah, we'll be fielding in slip. Unless they cut his finger off, it's going to be real hard to leave uh, to leave punter out. I spoke to him briefly when I was batting beside him. He said it feel, felt pretty good after um, after faces and balls on the machine and then faces and bowlers. You know, we're looking forward to this test match. We know it's a big test. Um, we have the opportunity to go uh, to go test match up in the Ashes. So we'll be doing everything we can to win this test match. So plenty of question marks as we go into the fourth Vodafone Ashes test. But one big question mark, they keep saying history will be made. Can we break the record for the highest attendance of a single day of a test? It was set in 1961, Australia versus the West Indies. There was 90,800 people there. Can we better that here? Boxing Day 2010.